This is the EG4 24K solar mini split that runs on solar DC and it runs off of AC. I already have it installed. What I'm gonna to try to find out today is what the minimum amount of panels that you need for this to run. Right now it's been running for two years on AC only power and I'm gonna hook up a panel to see if it will run off of one panel. And if not, uh, so on, see what the minimum amount of panels is it needs to run. Looking at the specs, the max voltage is 380 volts and the max amps are 12 amps, uh, which is fine because my panel puts out, I think nine or 10. This next sheet shows uh, how to put it in the solar only mode, which I guess is if you don't have AC connected, also with the minimum voltages for it to start which it says it's 90 volts when it's in solar only. Under uh, solar with AC hooked up, uh, there is no minimum. That's what we're trying to find out today is uh, what the minimum amount of panels is. This here is a shot of it running on the AC only. It's running at 500 uh, watts. And now we're gonna add a panel. So we'll get this panel down, it's a 400 watt. Uh, Q cell panel, like a 405 Q cell panel, and uh, we're doing this at night time so we can hook it up. But uh, we'll see if this puts out any power or if it even turns on any savings. Now that that panel's in place, I need to hook it up so I need to access the PV inputs of the mini split. We'll take these screws out, which will give us access to the uh, PV inputs. All right, we're opening this up. We're gonna feed them out through the little holes just temporarily. It's not how it should be, but it'll work for now. Next, here's one panel running during the day and it's still zero output. So we're gonna add one more panel. Got that installed, but can't hook it up until we cover it up so we get zero voltage and no arc. And uh, we're gonna hook that panel up right now to put it in series. And that should give it uh, probably about a 100 volts and about uh, 800 watts. And now that that's hooked up power, we're gonna uncover it and we will we test it to see All right, we'll check the app, if see these two does. panels are putting out. Two panels hooked up. And sure enough, there it is. 602 watts of PV input, only pulling 90 from the grid. So two panels is the minimum amount that the 24K mini split needs to operate. And of course, the more panels, the better. Uh, but as I run it in the 500 watt uh, AC limiter mode, um, this works great. So it very, pulls very little. And from here is an actual live shot of it running. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off the AC limiter to see how it transitions from the PV uh, and pulls more from AC. So now that the AC limiter is off, we we'll see it start ramping up on the AC side. That's the top right corner. It's 77 watts. There's 100. And it's going to keep on going up because now it's going to turn and run in the full operation mode. And <clears throat> that's going to go all the way up to about 1,000 watts from AC. And it also will still keep pulling the 600 from the panels. So it runs seamlessly when you have the AC and DC hooked up. And then if it just needs power, it just pulls what it needs. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the AC limiter mode because it's at its max uh, operating wattage right now. So it's going to start ramping down here once I uh, push the uh, AC limiter mode. But uh, I really like this mini split because it has that option. Uh, I also own a uh, Pioneer uh, mini split that I have up in my bedroom. It's a 12K. It doesn't have this option. But it's nice because uh, I use this mini split here, the 24K in the garage. And uh, it just keeps, keeps everything cool and uh, you know, fairly cheap to run um, when it's running on AC only because uh, 500 watts is not bad it just puts it in like a cruising mode and uh, you see it ramping down now 
back to the uh, 500 watts AC limiter mode. Uh, while it's in that mode, it, it pulls anywhere. The most I've seen it pulls like 700. But um, a successful test. Two panels minimum for the uh, 24K mini split.